Today we are going to take a look at Windows Explorer alternative called Files. Now this app recently got updated to the version 3 and the new version brings a ton of new features and reasons to replace default Windows File Explorer. By the way, if you are wondering what is that wallpaper on my desktop, make sure that you check out the first link in the video description. To install Files app, go ahead to this website which I will also link in the video description right below the like button. And now once you're on this website, you have three download options. The first one is download files, which will redirect you to the Microsoft Store. But keep in mind that on Microsoft Store version, you will need to pay nine euros for the same app, which you can get completely for free. Down below, you have download insider preview version, which is the version which isn't as stable as the first option. And down below, you have classic installer option. So this is the way how you can get this stable version of the files app completely for free. Once you're on this website, make sure that you click on this try our classic installer link. Once you click on that, you will get the .exe file called files.stable. Now you can click on it here on the admin prompt. You can just press yes. And now you should see that the installer is extracting the package. After that, you should see the installer of the files app. Down below, make sure that you have checked launch when installed completes. And now you can just press install to install files application. Once the installation is complete, you should see the screen which looks something like this and this is a brand new files app version 3.0 in the beginning of the video i said that if you want you can make it as your default file explorer so let me show you how you can actually do that so at the top right you can click on this gear icon then down below make sure that you go to the advanced settings and here down below you should have experimental feature flags so down below it should say set files as the default file file manager, but this actually isn't advised by the developers of this application. So do this at your own risk. So if you really want to, you can just turn this toggle on and now you should see registry pop up and here you can just press yes. And now if you close this settings app, you can then go to the file explorer and every single time you will open the file explorer, it will always open this brand new files app. If you really want to switch completely to this file explorer, you can just right click on the file explorer, which is pinned in the taskbar. Then you can just unpin it from the taskbar. And for this brand new file explorer, then you can just right click and make sure that you select this files app to pin it to the taskbar like so. Now you can drag it to the left with all those widgets and the search at the bottom. Now let's explore a few more of the settings of this version 3.0 of this application. Now here down below, you can see the vertical tabs, which apparently this is where the most focus went on on this brand new version 3.0 update. Now here you have your favorite shortcuts like desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, and so and so on. Then on the left, you also have drives, cloud drives, network drives, and also the tags. On the top right, if you click on this three dots, you have here three options, create a new pane, new window or enter compact overlay. If you would click enter compact overlay, you should see this smaller version of this file explorer app. But if you go here, for example, and once again, click on the three dots, you can select here new pane and you have like two tabs on the same instance of this application. On the top, you have also an ability to create a brand new tab, just like a default Windows file explorer right now also has this feature in the latest release of Windows 11, which I believe is 23H2. Now, if you want, you can also tweak more of the settings of this application, like the appearance and also the other options. So if you go here to the settings on the top right, you can go here to the appearance options. Here, you can select the theme. So currently set to default, but if you want, you can change this setting to light or to the dark. Then you also have an ability to change the backdrop material. Now with the Windows 11, there was a brand new material introduced, which is called Mika. But with the Windows 7, I believe there was older like material, which is transparent and it's called acrylic. So if you want that style as well, you can also here select it. And now you have this more acrylic effect on your file explorer, which actually doesn't ship with the default Windows file explorer. Down below, you also have 
background options. So if you want, you can pick whichever color you prefer of the file explorer. This once again isn't available with the default file explorer. Here you also have a color picker. So if you don't have here your preferred color, you can just pick the color you actually want. Down below you have folders tab. Now if you select this option, which is called sync layout and sorting preferences across directories, this means that the every single folder will have the same layout as all the other ones. If you go here once again to the settings, you have here folder options and you can also select here layout mode, which is currently selected to the adaptive layout. But here, if you want, you can select here details, styles, columns, or icon grid. Here you have also display options. So if you want, you can also display hidden items, which you can also do in default Windows File Explorer. Down below, you also have behavior options. So opening items. So if you want, you can also open items with a single click and also open folders in the new tab. Now let's go to the tags, which I think works basically the same as the Mac OS. So you can then tag a few of the files or folders, I believe, with different colors. Then this is the advanced menu, which we already went through. If you want, you can also open files on Windows Startup and enable this feature as well. Here at the top, you will see also this menu, which looks a lot nicer than the default Windows File Explorer. Here we have an option to cut the file, to copy it or to rename it or even put it to the bin. Really interesting feature with this file or file explorer replacement is that if you click on this bin icon, you will also have an option here to permanently delete this file, which isn't enabled or isn't present in the default Windows File Explorer app. So if you want, you can just click permanently delete and delete this installer file. So this means that this file will not go to the bin, but straight it will delete it from your computer. Then you also have here the this wrench icon, I believe. And then you can also have some more options for the specific folder like the general settings and the security settings as well. And down below, you also have the customization settings. So if you want, you can also pick your own icon for the downloads folder or any all other folder really. Here on the top right, you also have the status center, which is right now a brand new feature compared to the version two of this app. Here with the status center, you will basically see what happened or what you did in the file explorer. For example, here we have permanent deleted one item and this will track your activity in the file explorer which is quite interesting now if you don't want to use this application anymore you can just go right here to the settings of this application go back to the advanced and make sure that you uncheck this option experimental feature flag set files as the default file manager so make sure that you uncheck this now press yes on the registry editor and this will now deregister this file application with the default Windows file manager. Now you can close this window and then you can just go to the settings here, go to the apps, installed apps and here make sure that you search for the files application and click on the three dots here click on the uninstall. Now, the only thing that you will also need to do is to pin the file explorer back to the taskbar. So you will need to go here and uh, right click on the file explorer and pin to the taskbar. And now if you want to, you can open the file explorer and now you have your default file explorer back and running. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you check out the wallpaper link in the video description down below. Subscribe if you haven't already as well. Like this video and with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next one